Hi everyone, so this is going to be a review where I share my thoughts on some silk sleeping caps and bonnets from Lily Silk. It's not a sponsored video, I purchased all of these with my own money, but I asked and a lot of you said you did want to see a review. So many of you said you were thinking about buying a sleeping cap or bonnet, but you really wanted to know some of the questions or get answers to some questions that you had. So I'll answer them throughout this video as well. So if you're interested, keep watching. <laughs> I picked up four designs from Lily and Silk and they're all the same price. So rounding them up to the whole dollar, it's 45 Australian dollars, 40 US or around 51 Canadian. They do ship to other countries and have many other options. So check out their website if you are interested. I don't know, I, I think that might be a little bit expensive and yes, it is silk as opposed to satin, um, but I got them when they're on sale. So I bought them for buy one get one half price which I think is probably a better or a more appropriate price point but I have noticed a difference so it is up to you whether or not that's something you can afford. There are cheaper alternatives though out there. I'll just walk you through the different designs though and if you can find one cheaper that's great. Um, but as far as the pricing point goes I have noticed they do have sales fairly frequently so just keep your eye out for that but to give you an idea of how much they go for it's 45 Australian each. So I got four different designs. They do have more than that. Some of them have ribbons. And I think performance wise, for the most part, they all worked fairly similarly. One of them is a different shape to the others quite significantly, <laughs> shaped differently. Uh, so that one had slightly different results, but for the most part, they all worked the same way. They weren't too hot. Um, I'm a fairly hot sleeper, so I don't like having a hot head or feet when I'm sleeping. And I didn't notice that I overheated. It wasn't uncomfortable wearing any of them as far as heat goes. Uh, none of them came off either. Some of them did slide a bit, but I'll go through each of them when I'm showing you the four different designs and the features about each of them. As a little bit of an idea, for me, I'm a side sleeper predominantly, but I do sleep on my back and sometimes towards my tummy, but mainly my side. I also don't like things being tucked behind my ears or bulky items like um, headbands or a lot of hair tucked behind my ears. So that's another thing that I don't like. Uh, I also have a longer face that's not very wide around the top. Uh, so if you have a different shaped face, that is also something to consider. Did I notice a difference? I'll go through and say yes. So normally how I sleep is with a silk scrunchie or a satin scrunchie and I just have my hair up on the top of my head. I do use a silk pillowcase and I've been using a silk pillowcase for many, many years, which has made a difference compared to a normal cotton or other material pillowcase. Um, so if you're not using a silk pillowcase, I'd probably recommend that anyway. It just feels nicer. It's comfortable. Um, with the actual difference between how I normally have my hair, which is you know, like I've shown, um, to the sleeping bonnets, I did notice a difference, curly and straight. There was a significant difference in the amount of frizz and just fluff that I had. Also what I noticed is when I left my hair natural and had my curls um, come out, the next day I didn't really have to do too much to style it, just refresh the curls slightly. Um, but it wasn't an absolute mess like it normally would be. Uh, one thing I also noticed that I wasn't expecting is that with me, when I sleep, I generally do get quite a sweaty or oily head. So the next day after I've washed it uh, or two days in, it's oily to the part where it doesn't necessarily look clean anymore. So if I want my hair to look fresh and clean, particularly if I was wearing it straight, I'd have to wash it uh, with the sleeping bonnet the silk sleeping caps and bonnets I did get an extra day or two before I had to worry about that so I was noticing that my hair wasn't getting as oily at the roots or as dry at the ends so that did make a difference to me and um, more so I noticed more difference with curly hair uh, when I had my hair curly I noticed it just looked less fluffy the next day and uh, yeah that's that. It. That's it, I guess. Um, for each of the designs, I'll go through the designs that I purchased. I'll show you me trying on each of the designs, like how I put them on, but also me laying on a pillow, 
turning from side to side so you can see how it moves, I guess, because I think it's important to know. The first particular style that I purchased is called the Classic Pleated Silk Sleep Cap. So this one I bought in light blue. At the front, it has a little knotted section where it's gathered, going around to the back where it has a thin elastic at the back here. It is pleated at the back with a seam, and there is quite a lot of room in there. The edges are quite flat, and there's no elastic at the front. I think out of all four of them, this is now my favourite. Uh, the first time I wore it, I did tuck it behind my ears because I, th I wasn't used to having a sleeping bonnet or cap because I hadn't used them before and it was over my ears and I just found it to be a little uncomfortable. But uh, when I wore it under my, like behind my ears, tucked in behind my ears, it did slide up a little. It didn't fall off, it never actually came off my head completely. Uh, so that's a good thing and something to keep in mind. I know a lot of you are asking about that. So none of them actually fell off. I did find though when I use it uh, more recently again, because I've been using these for a little while now, is that it was more comfortable when I had it actually over my ears. It does sit flat against the forehead when you wear it and you can position it either lower towards your eyebrows or up towards your hairline a little bit more. I do like this design. I think that if you had really, really long, thick, curly hair, you might struggle to fit it all in here. It's not the biggest cap, uh, but there is still quite a lot of room uh, when you've got, my, my hair's really fine, really thin. And even when it's curly, I don't have uh, really thick hair. Uh, so I do like this one. So this is the light blue classic pleated silk sleep cap. Putting it on is not the easiest thing, to be honest, um, but it's, it's not too difficult to do. Uh, there is one that's a little bit more difficult, which is the next one that I'll show you. But I think out of all of them for me, this is probably the one that I will use the most. I found it the most comfortable, particularly when I'm sleeping on my back. The thinner elastic at the back was so much more comfortable than some of the thicker elastics or tighter elastic pieces in some of the other designs. Uh, and just the shape at the front, it just it felt loose enough to be comfortable, tight enough to stay on, and not too bulky. Uh, so that is the first one that I tried. The second design is the Premium Silk Turban. I picked this up in the colour Taupe, and it's like this golden shade. So this one is similar in design to the first one that I showed, but there are some differences. There's no knot at the front. It has a crossover section here that sits flat against the head, but it is still gathered there. Around the back, you do still have elastic, but it is quite a lot thicker at the back. Now, originally the first time that I used this, I still had it tucked in behind my ears and it was fairly comfortable. But again, I've been finding that now that I'm more used to having a bonnet on when I'm sleeping, having them over my ears has actually become a lot more comfortable than having them tucked in behind. This one, the most recent time that I used it, um, I ended up having to take it off because I was sleeping on my back more. And I was finding that the elastic at the back here, when I was laying down, it was just becoming too tight and putting a lot of pressure on the nape of my neck. And I've, I've had a headache um, recently when I've been using this, so it kind of just applied pressure in the wrong spot. If I didn't have a headache and was sleeping on my side, it, it's not that bad. It's really still loose without being um, too loose. But this one is a lot tighter than the blue one, than the first one that I showed you. If you had a rounder face or a larger head, you may find this is too tight for you. Uh, being that I have a longer and sort of not very wide head, even when I lay on my side, uh, it did pull it a bit tighter around this side. And uh, so that is something to keep in mind is that I found this one to be a lot tighter. 
not uncomfortable except for the one night where I had to take it off because it was applying too much pressure to the back of my head. I think it may have also have been, if this had the thinner, the half size elastic at the back, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but it's the fact that it's a thicker elastic. The elastic is soft and I'm not saying it's not comfortable. It is just something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, if you do have a wider head or a larger head, uh, this might not be the best idea. This one is quite comfortable, even if you were wearing it around just to keep your hair out of your face around the house, or if you've curled your hair and you want to keep it up to keep your curls looking nice, uh, then this one is fairly comfortable for day wear and uh, walking around the house. And that way you don't really have to worry about it being pressing on your neck or being too tight when you're laying down. So for that purpose, fantastic. But for actual sleeping in, which is sort of the point of them, um, it's, yeah, it's still comfortable and I still will use it for sure. Uh, it's probably the third, my third choice out of the four that I picked up though at the moment. Um, but if it was just for day to day where I'm standing up, not having to worry about laying down, then this one would be fine. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the top color as well. It's quite a nice color. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing is I wish, I like the front of this design more than the front of the light blue one, but the back of it, I'm just not a huge fan of the elastic. It's a bit too thick for me. But again, personal preference. It's going to fit everybody's head slightly differently. And um, you'll notice that none of these have ribbons because I knew that I wouldn't like bulky ribbons or anything gathering at the back of my neck, but they do have some designs with ribbons. So if you prefer that, then go for those. But it's just something to keep in mind when looking at them. The third design is a little bit different to the first two. It is the Traceless Elastic Band Silk Sleep Cap in Navy Blue. Now this one has a wide elastic the whole way around and you can have this tucked in behind your ears and I did try that um, but it wasn't very comfortable because this it, it did sit flat against the head but when I had it tucked in behind my ears it tended to rise up and uh, come a bit loose it didn't slide off there is a lot of stretch in this one though so I think if you're worried about the sleeping caps being too tight, so particularly the second design, this one, you really don't have to worry about it. It does feel snug to the point where it's, it's comfortable. It's not uncomfortable, but it does fit snugly. It sort of has a, a compression feeling, but not uncomfortable, not in a bad way. It still is really comfortable to lay down on. I found it was more comfortable eventually when I did sleep with it over my ears. It does look not the greatest, I think, um, out of all of them. It kind of reminds me of like a really weird looking chef's hat. <laughs> um, but yeah, the elastic itself is not made out of silk. It's, it's, it is an elastic band and um, that generally will sit across your forehead and over the ears and at the nape of your neck too. I don't mind this one. I found it fairly easy to use. I could get all of my hair in here very easily when I throw my hair over the top of my head, leaning forward, uh, because I could get both of my hands in here and there is a lot of stretch. It was easy to just kind of plop my hair in there and then pull it down. Uh, sometimes I pull it all the way down over my face to get all my hair in there and kind of shake it and get it into the into the sleeping bonnet. So this one was really easy to use uh, to get all of my hair in there. It's probably the second most easiest to get all of it in. Uh, and there was still a lot of room, even though it doesn't look that big, uh, it is. It would fit a lot more hair in it than I have and it's comfortable. So I think if you're new to sleeping caps, this is probably actually a good option for you, uh, particularly if you're not sure what size or design that you want. This is, is a pretty good one. Uh, I, I do like this one. It is my second favorite out of all of them, um, just because I think I like the feeling of having the silk uh, around my face. One thing to note is the first two didn't really leave any impressions, but for a good 
three or so hours after I woke up, it felt like I had the bonnet still on. So it wasn't uncomfortable, it just felt like there was something there. <laughs> uh, didn't do that too much with this one, but the next one I'm going to talk to you about, I do have some cons about that one. Uh, but I did like this one, it stayed on, it feels nice and secure, it just looks a little weird, that's all. But if you're sleeping it doesn't really matter. And the last one that I picked up is called the Elegant Night Silk Bonnet. Now this one I picked up in the colour Silver Grey. I think out of all the colours, it's, it's kind of like a champagne colour, um, but I prefer, I like the light blue uh, and I like the taupe as well um, but this one's not bad it is just a little nah. this particular one is a long long bonnet and I thought because I have long hair particularly if I'm wearing it straight great this one might be good and look it was fine to fit all of my hair in there it definitely fit and if you have really long hair particularly straight hair I think this one was probably going to be better for people with straight hair because with my curls, it didn't hold them as defined as the other bonnets that sit closer to my head do. But it still made a difference as far as frizz. But the definition was lost a little bit um, overnight. I just, I can't, I can't wear it. Uh, so keeping in mind again that I've got a long, sort of skinnier head. I don't have a very wide head. This, I just couldn't do it. The first time I tucked it behind my ears, it was really bulky and it wasn't comfortable. The second time when I put it over my ears, it kind of just started to sit funny and it just didn't, it didn't feel right. Uh, and when I woke up both times, I had an indentation where the elastic had been sitting across my head. It is tight. Even when I'm wearing it tucked in behind my ears, it, that's that made it a little looser because obviously it's sitting up higher on my head it's not underneath and going all the way up it's sitting behind and coming up here so it made it a little bit looser but I wasn't a huge fan of having all of this material sitting in behind my ear and um, even then it was still tight and I still did have an indentation um, so I found this one to be a little too uncomfortable for me Again, being personal preference, you might not find this to be too uncomfortable and maybe mine's just a bit tighter. Um, but if you had a larger head or a rounder head, this might not work for you at all. It might be too small uh, because if it's like, sometimes I wear like children's sized hats, like the mini, mini mouse ears from Disney and the, the kids hats, that's what I normally wear. So... <laughs> If you have like a bigger head this might not work at all um, and that's one negative that I have for it also the fact that if you're wanting it to hold your curl pattern in and keep your curls nice and tight probably isn't going to do it for you if you have straight hair though and long hair this is great one thing that I did notice about this one though is when I was sleeping with it I kind of have to flick it over my pillow over the top of my pillow because otherwise kind of got around my face and then when I turn it would be everywhere because there's a lot of material there so it was a bit awkward but I wanted to try it out and I actually thought when I looked at them online that this one would end up being my favorite and it turns out it's actually my least favorite so my overall thoughts is are they worth it I think so you can buy them cheaper you don't have to get these ones but if you are interested it's Lily Silk is where I've got them from. They are nice and they are made well. I can tell that they are a quality product and it feels like it. It's just for me, I don't know, $45 still seems quite pricey. They're not the most expensive ones out there though. And I think it's also because I know that they go on sale quite a lot. Um, but I do, I would recommend them. I'd recommend them more for people with curly hair because I noticed the biggest difference when I had curly hair. Um, versus when I have straight hair. In saying that though, I already use a silk pillowcase. So going from a non-silk pillowcase to a silk pillowcase made a big difference when I had straight hair. And this helps even more. So I think uh, that's something to consider too, is that if you're not sleeping on a silk pillowcase, I'd probably recommend trying that first. But for people with curly hair, 
silk bonnets and sleeping caps? I think yes. I think it is a great idea. Uh, a lot of the questions that you had is do they stay on? They all stayed on. Some of them did slide around a little bit and I found more of them slid upwards and almost felt like they were going to come off. None of them actually fell off, but it was mainly when I had them tucked in behind my ears. When I had them underneath my ears and pulled over, none of them really felt like they were going to come off or be too loose. As far as the difference, I did notice a difference the next day. I noticed a significant difference in the amount of frizz when I had my hair curly and a, a good difference when I had my hair straight, but mainly when I had it curly. The, the one with a really long sleeping bonnet didn't do as much for my curly hair as the tighter, shorter sleeping caps did. But if you have really, really long hair, the bonnet might be a better option because you do have a lot more room. Or if you've got just really long straight hair and you're just wanting something to keep it nice and silky, then that could be a good option for you. I did find that it made my hair last longer between washes. For whatever reason, my hair didn't get as oily at the roots and it didn't look as dry at the ends. So for me, that's a plus and I really wasn't expecting that. That wasn't something that I went into this trying it, thinking that would happen. But I was pleasantly surprised um, because that is quite a big deal for me uh, because yeah, I just get a really sweaty head <laughs> when I sleep and I noticed um, that uh, quite a drastic improvement for me. Uh, even getting that extra day or two is a big deal for me at least anyway. It wasn't too hot. None of them were too hot. One of them, the third, the fourth one, it was too tight for me. Uh, the others, it's just finding the position that they fit in and making sure that they are comfortable for you. I think it's just like everything, everyone's going to have their different preference on how it feels and how it fits. I know that I wouldn't like the ones with the ribbons because I don't like to have bulk at the back of my neck or have anything there. I don't even like to have my hair tied at the back of my head when I sleep. And that's probably because I do switch from my side to my back. Um, but if you don't mind that, that I do have ones with ribbons and then you can adjust it to however tight you need it to be. If you do have any specific questions that I haven't answered in the video, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them for you. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have used a silk sleeping cap or bonnet, please let me know what you thought and uh, share your experience with everybody else as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it might be, wherever you are. And I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye. I lost my remote. <laughs>